Hey guys, this is Alicia Michelle, and I'm making my first video on horse style tutorial, and I'm going to show you around um, and how to do it, um, and yeah, so uh, here we go. This is horse style. This is a game where you find your own horse, buy one or find a wild one, and you take care of it, compete with other players, do quests, make money, get your own ranch, stuff like that. So when you begin, you're going to start on the little aisle at the very top of the horse aisle. Uh, it's called the welcome aisle. And uh, you start there. You have to talk to, I think, someone to get off the aisle. And they're going to send you to Earton, which is the main area. The main, I guess, the main town, I guess is price to say. Uh, and you're probably just going to, like, wander around. I mean, like I am on foot because... You're going to be a newbie, and of course, you're going to have a newbie outfit, uh, which is just like a big old baby, it kind of looks like. So if you want to change your character, there's a profile section um, right next to the players and the map button. You just click it, and then find whatever character you like by using the left or right arrow keys. Um, it could be a man or a woman or an elf or anything crazy, even an old lady, because there's some old ladies that leave, um, play this game too. So once you figure out your outfit, you're all situated and stuff, you can um, do quests. You can go to any houses, like this house or any of these houses up here, or just like around town um, and do quests for people by talking to them nicely and just correspond with them. And they'll tell you to get stuff uh, like... To go get like cursed items or just get like six logs and two sticks or whatever like that anything and then you have to bring them go back to like the place that you were talking to that person and give them the items that they asked for and then you once you like completed the quest then like uh, you get money for it and that'll be starter money and then if you want to get more money there's like games um there's like hangman basically uh on here not necessarily just hangman but there's other crazy games that you can do on horse style just to help you get a little bit of money so i mean it's not much of course but it's definitely a starter let's see river suburb so oh look 49 dollars i mean that helps some uh, for a starter horse, of course, you probably can't afford a fancy one unless some, uh, like, some rich person come by. You're like, oh, yay, look, you're new. Let me get you some money. I mean, that's what happens, like, what happened to me when I just started. Some millionaire came by, like, oh, look, you're new. Hey, trade with me. And I'm like, um, okay, but I don't have anything to trade with you. And they're like, oh, sure, it's, it's no problem. And they gave me like a million dollars, and I'm like, wow, I, are you sure you want me to take this? And they're like, oh, yeah, sure. And I'm like, uh, okay, <laughs> I'll find you some random object off the ground or whatever, and I'll pay you back. And like, no, you don't have to pay me back. And so, yeah, um, that's definitely a possibility. But once to uh, use as a starter horse, you can go to the horse leaser, which is this little pin over here. Uh, rent a fell pony for about $250 for two hours. Um, it's definitely a starter and until you can roam around and get do more quests and get more money. And then you can afford better horses. You can also go to auctions. Apparently there's an auction right now. Um, and you can get some cheap horses. Usually they're not really good. Every once in a while, you'll find a good horse. This horse is technically not that bad. Cause the intelligence of personality is pretty high. Basically, this is called um, the Uts. UTS is what people will, will correspond with. By looking at these, but this bar graph, you have to look at the triangles um, and see how high it is. If it's above 500 or more, um, then it's really good if, if it's like way below then your horse is really cruddy and it's not even worth anything basically basically so yeah um even though there's a good breed like thoroughbreds and stuff like that you can still train your horses to get really really good 
This horse is not bad, but you can do better. To train your horses, uh, here, let me show you. Let me get my little person. Take your horse, basically, it should, it's just, it should be like in your, um, horse list here, like I do. And you take them to any training centers. There's one in Earton. There, I know there's one in, I think, Treaton. I don't know if there's a one in Question area. Appleton, I know for sure. They're mostly on every island. Most of them. And you could train them for about $1,000 each. Um, it varies with the benefits. For the speed, it's 10 speed plus 5 experience. So that can help with your uh, UTS. And also it can help with your um, horse's stats. You can go to the pet shops and get a companion any companion you want the smaller the more less of uh, bonus you're gonna get the more expensive the more bonuses uh, for your horse's tax so if you were to get a doberman pincher 75k it'll give you about 125 horse stats a firefly or flies or whatever will give you like two so be careful what you get <laughs> I mean it's not necessarily that bad but I probably wouldn't recommend it because it won't do anything for your horse what do you can find things around your uh, around the island any island that's listed on the map anything on the ground and you can sell them at the general store and you can also buy food here if your person gets hungry. Also, if you want to check if your person's hungry, just go to click on stats and scroll down. Mine's laggy. Sorry. Wait. Okay. You don't go back. <laughs> Very laggy. My bad. Do do do. Okay. You say the person's a little bit hungry and really thirsty. So if your person's like really thirsty, you can go to the store or you can go to the inn. The inn, you can get a nap there or full sleep or you can get like food and stuff. Expensive, but yeah. Or you can go to the water fountain. There should be... Water fountains are not art are not in all the towns so just in a couple just don't click it the drink button too much because you're gonna accidentally uh, lose some money like I just did but you know whatever uh, to feed stores definitely make sure you feed your horses or they will get bad health and you have to pay for the vet and the vet can for okay for a starter you're gonna it's gonna be a lot of money but yeah and it's just a state like that to feed. There's a feed button. Just click it. And there should be a variety of food to give it if you have any. If you buy anything from the feed shop. Um, before you mouse your horse, you have to get tack. Uh, the tack I have is called a Pegasus saddle. I got, I got that for free, too. I just can find really good deals. But, uh... This is really like, I think it was like a million dollars, I think. It's really, really pricey. Why? I don't know. Probably because there's Pegasus on here. <laughs> so you can buy tack at the tack shop. It's usually not that bad. Between the 21000 something like that range. Also, you can get a pitchfork at the general store. Or someone could trade you one. And go to the pile of hay to get free hay bales I'll show you don't worry you have to be you don't have to be this fast this fast and look earn a hay bale da, da, da. <laughs> um, to chat and just course it says chat all you can say anything you want just I mean keep it clean and Horse style, it programs, like, if you try to say a bad word, um, like, Alamano, 
or okay so if you put L M A O it will replace of laughing my horse's rumps off so no cussing which is good very good for the religious people or people just don't like cussing I like that so um, that's a good thing about chat and it, it does that for all the chat bubbles or whatever uh, to get friends you just go to some random person click to add buddy and it says attempting to add buddy but you don't necessarily have to add you back um, so if they want to add you back then of course they'll add you back and you automatically become friends if you want to talk to them you can push PM for personal messaging them like direct message like on Instagram or you can put chat buddies right here and just say anything uh to like all your buds like currently i have five buds on so when they see me talking all my buds see it so yeah it's just really cool um i'm gonna travel almost anywhere on foot except the water area of course and there's always a help button too um i will be helping with some of the quests on my next videos so please stay tuned for that uh and i look forward for views and thumbs ups don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe thank you for watching and listening to licia's michelle's horse style tutorial as sika thanks <laughs>